Inflection Games have just released the first major changelog and update since the Realms Rebuilt update came out just a week ago. This is absolutely awesome. There is tons and tons of fixes in there. And the Realms Rebuilt update was insane. It has massively overhauled this game, making it something completely different from the original launch. It is so much better. I absolutely love it. I'm in love with this. I've been playing it for hours since that update came out. And I'm going to continue to play. We're going to do more content on it. This update has made it a game changer for me and is much better now than what it originally was. The game was good in the first place, but this update's made it so much more playable, much easier to get along with, and you can get things done in a much quicker pace. Not so much to rush through, but things don't take that long, tedious route that they used to, and this update has made it much more smooth and enjoyable. The tutorial is brilliant, the gameplay is brilliant, the flow of gameplay versus scavenging building is so much more fluent. It's great absolutely love it and this first major update is brilliant and it seems like a lot of players are enjoying it since the realms rebuilt update too because as you can see here the average player base has tripled in august it was 203 over the last 30 days it is now 854 i think when we're a full month in they're going to be sitting at around about average 3,000 players. So that is a massive growth. As you can see here, the peak players in August were 530. This month, 6,539. And I think that number could go up a little bit more. They may even reach the 10,000 mark before Christmas. We'll have to wait and see, but I do hope that's the case. Now, the Realms Rebuild update was good, and this has got tons and tons of fixes for the update in there. A few of the things I've come across as well, and this is going to make gameplay a little bit more smooth. Uh, the server maintenance happened today. It was down for a couple of hours, but back up and running now. So if you were playing offline, make sure you update the game. Um, these items will not apply unless you've updated the game. If you're playing online, you have to play it. You have to update it anyway. So regardless of which way you're playing, better just to get the update done as soon as it comes out. Brilliant. Absolutely love it. This is 0.5.1, and it's got over 50 fixes in there. There's loads of cool stuff, combat, NPCs, character, progression, quests, resources, tons of stuff. So we'll go through, we'll have a quick read through of what we've got. So progression blockers, there was a couple of things that I found, and two of those have been fixed already, and that was the caves and sites of power. There was campfires in them, which you couldn't use. You had to go back outside or wait for rain to stop. So rain was continually coming through in the campfires, tents, stuff like that. That has now been fixed. They've also reduced and eliminated Dobbins errors, which I'm not too sure what that is. I haven't come across that. Now, Nelly will also no longer tell you to find a fabled automaton knight when you actually need to find a fabled automaton bishop. So you're not getting sent the wrong way anymore. You'll be able to progress through those quests a lot better. There's been loads of art, audio fixes as well. For combat, they fixed a sling bow. Marbles will now properly apply debuff effects when shot, which is good news. Adds a little bit more power to them. The uh, sling bow marbles, the explosive ones, do a hell of a lot of damage anyway, and they are great. Now, when it comes to NPCs, the NPCs in this are definitely a lot more useful than the ones in Night of the Dead. The recruitable NPCs will now no longer stop performing any of their tasks if you are encumbered and nearby them, which was a pain. If you got an over-encumbered uh, player, your NPC would just freeze up and not really do anything useful, which is annoying um, because you can move around whilst you're encumbered. It does; It's not sort of like a dead stop. As you progress further over that weight limit, um, yes, you do stop start to slow down a hell of a lot but it was annoying because your companion wasn't really doing much but top tip make sure you transfer all of your heavy items to your companion because they don't actually have a weight limit as far as i can tell so if you are over encumbered just give them things they are bound by the inventory slots that they've got but as far as i could tell there's no weight limit to those slots themselves now, for some of the other NPCs in the game, Humbaba movement is prevented now, so he won't be sliding. NPC POI in the Harbarian Forest, where players could not use the stairs to reach the top of the foundation. Elder Eton should no longer stand idle for long periods. Shellike will now apply heavier gravity to players as it is charging, even if the gravitational realm card is on the realm. And a bound assassin can no longer hit players through walls with its throwing blade attack. Now, there's been a couple of other fixes to the player character and miscellaneous, but 
there's some good quest fixes in here as well. So Desma will no longer have the dialogue option. The potion seemed to work on the roots before the player has completed the quest. Fixes that should make it easier to build near Joan of Arc. And there are no longer two quests called an Astral Pull. And I hope Echo has been updated to mention the correct current realm location of Ludvine St. Clair. There's also been a ton of game changes as well as fixes. So for combat. A sickle secondary ability throw or sickle rank can now be used when the player only has one stamina remaining. NPCs work here radius has been increased for the recruitable NPCs. Recruited NPCs are the only players that are allowed to pick items up off the ground. And wisp colours have been adjusted to closer to the current colour of essence that they spawn. There's been some changes to progression as well and resources. For progression, players will now get the campfire recipe for free if they complete a quest before unlocking it in the progression tree. And various abeyance quests have been adjusted to mention unlocking items in the menu, such as establish a base. And Talson's side quest no longer will automatically be pushed on your tracker, but they can be pinned by going to the quest menu. And Nelly's quests only accept resources from Gauntlet Apexes. And then when it comes to resources, they've added max health and max stamina to nickel. So it now provides 20 maximum health and 10 stamina plus environmental resistance and adjusted the amount of essence extracted from arrows as well as lumber burn time to be much greater than the wood bundles. They've also added magic power stats to shimmering resources. So they now provide 6% critical damage and 4% magic power. Now that's not it, the team is still working on a whole bunch of fixes and issues that have popped up over the past week or so, which is good news. Make sure you continue to report them. Any links that you need are in the description down below. The team have said thank you for your patience and for joining us on this journey. And hopefully we'll have some good stuff out in next week as well. And now I'm pretty sure they do weekly update or maintenance schedules every Thursday, I believe it is. Going back through the history, I'm pretty sure it's every Thursday. But there's been tons and tons of stuff recently going over the uh, Realms rebuilt update. So I don't think it's been as consistent as it normally would be. So we'll have to wait and see, but I'm very excited to see where the game goes over the next few months. Uh, with this update, hopefully they keep that steam rolling, um, push out tons of fixes, and we get maybe hints at whatever could be coming in the future. Are you enjoying Nightingale in its current form? Let me know down below. Do you prefer this or the old format? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. For now, though, we're going to wrap that one up there. Thanks for watching. I've been Wired. You've been awesome, and we'll see you in the next one.